Welcome to Grammar 56 all? No, none. Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us for today's Grammar Masterclass number 56. Today's guests are English professors Amy Harrison and Brian O'Donnell. I'll pass you over to our host Matthew Parkinson. Welcome to Grammar 56. Today we are going to discuss all, no, none, and their uses. Good evening to you all. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for inviting me on your wonderful grammar show. Good evening everyone. Thanks for having me on the grammar show. Today we are going to discuss all, no, none. All, no, none, each, every, either, neither, both. All, no, none, each, every, either, neither, both. They can take on the role of pronoun, conjunction, adverb, and determiner. All shows the amount of something. It can also be followed by the amount of something who used all of the paper. All the stains have disappeared. Greater than the stains have all disappeared. Used for emphasis. They all arrived on time. But we use everything instead of all when it means all the things. Everything went wrong. Thanks for everything. Also, we use everybody, instead of all when it means all the people, everybody has arrived. He knew everybody there. No is used to show the quantity of something. It is equivalent to not any. There is no ticket left. No students have signed up yet. We also use no to emphasize the lack of something. We have no time. We don't have any time. There are no tickets. There aren't any tickets. None means no of plus noun, which doesn't exist. We can also use none by itself. None of the movies I suggested seem to appeal to him. None of the juries seem to agree. How many attended? None at all. Emphatic form. None can be followed with by a singular noun and a plural noun. None of the witnesses has arrived. More formal, none of the witnesses have arrived. Everyday English, spoken English. Each and every have very similar meanings and are often interchangeable. Each time I come here I get bad service. Every time I come here I get bad service. Although each actually refers to a single item in a group whereas with every we tend to refer to the items in a group as a whole. I like every song he writes. Each member of the band is unique. Each can also refer to two items, whereas every can't he kissed her on each cheek. He hugged every one of them. Each of exists whereas every of does not, each of them received a certificate of completion. Each can be placed after the subject or at the end of the sentence, they each received a certificate of completion. Each of them received a certificate of completion. They received a certificate of completion each. Both, either, and neither. 1. Both equals two of two things both can be used directly before a noun. Both is often used with of. Both can be used with and. I have two cousins. I like both of them. I would recommend both restaurants. Both of their children like swimming. Did both of them wear red? Both Frank and James attended. Two. Neither equals not one or the other of two things. Neither can be used directly before a noun. Neither is often used with of. Neither can be used with nor. Don't forget that neither is followed by a verb in the singular or plural form. Neither of my dogs is trained. Neither of them are friendly. Neither of them is friendly. Neither of the children likes football. Neither of us will be late. Neither the first nor the second option were good. Neither of my dogs is trained. Neither of them are friendly. Neither of them is friendly. Neither of the children likes football. Neither of us will be late. Neither the first nor the second option were good. 3. Either equals one or the other. Either can be used directly before a noun. Either is often used with of. Either can be used with are. There are two options. You can choose either. Choose either, I don't mind. Either of them is fine. Have either of you got your driving license? You have to go either, left or right. 
That's all folks. Good night. Good night. Good night.